All right. Um, this is the new Whirlpool top load washer. Uh, something pretty cool about this sucker. You put water in it with this button. Oh, this is the first time I've ran into one of these. And I'm just going to share it with you guys. Um, what I really want to show you is the service diagnostics on this thing. There's a pretty nice LCD screen here. Um, how you get into it is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you'll see, it's telling you it's for technicians only. And this button here goes you know, to the right, this one to the left, this is back or exit, and this is your enter button. So you'll have to remember that. Yeah, that's what it's actually telling you here. So enter, back, exit, left, right. So we're going to get into it. You can do a lot of cool things. Factory diagnostics, which that's for the factory. System information, which typically you don't need to know that. Fault history, so you can get your fault codes off of this. Let's see if there's any on it. Nope, no fault codes. So we're going to go back. So, yeah, system info, fault history, service diagnostic. This is where you actual, actually test individual components. Um, demo mode off. This is like if you're having it in a showroom or whatever and then exit. So what we use mostly is fault history and service diagnostics. Um, HMI test, I'm not sure exactly what that is. This is new to me. Um, what I use is component activation. Uh, you can do sensor feedback or diagnostic cycle. Oh, this is auto test. So if you guys have no idea what's going on with your washer, um, you can do this diagnostic test and at the end of it, it should points you to if there's a problem or not. If it goes all the way through, typically um, there's nothing wrong with your washer. So, um, I use this most of the time and I just did, um, I changed out a belt on this washer. It was making a squeak. The belt was slipping. The belt was a little bit stretched. And with this stuff here, um, you can just test everything. And it took me a while to find the noise um, it happened whenever it was ramping up the speed and doing this in diagnostics you can just do all these tests to find out what your issue may be you know if you run one at a time we, get, we did the cold there's your hot so if you're having water filling issues you can test the solenoids uh, without having to do anything fancy. This is oxy valve, but this one doesn't have one. I was messing with it earlier. Fabric softener though. It is in there. What else we got? Add minimum water level, turn on heater. Okay, yeah, if it has a steam option on it, um, that's what that's for. Recirculation pump. Uh, a lot of these washers nowadays, they have recirculation pump for rinsing rather than um, putting a lot you know filling the tub up with more water to actually rinse so um, using a recirculation pump does save you some water um, but yeah you can test that pump if there's enough water <laughs> there's not enough water so it won't pump it okay what else we got Drain pump, this will work. Drain all that water out. So yeah, this water, or this washer is pretty wicked cool. I like the diagnostics on it. So yeah, you do agitation test, toggle the shifter, spin test, Balance detection. Oh, yeah, this one's got a detergent pump. You just put your detergent in there and it pumps it out automatically. So, that's pretty nice until it breaks, uh, but you can't overfill your detergent 
like most people probably do. And you'll be surprised at how long your detergent will last you. And then softener pump. Oh, it's like a bleach. And it doesn't look like this one has a softener pump, just a detergent pump. So this one doesn't have an oxy valve or a softener pump. But anyways, yeah. That's the diagnostics on this new washer, and it, it's pretty cool because you don't need to get that piece of paper out, which this one probably doesn't have one. But yeah, to just exit, you can just hit the power button enough times to get out of it. But yeah, it's a little bit about diagnostics on this washer. Uh, if you need to test any of those components, I mean, fairly easy to do. So I uh, hope you guys like the video. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day.